bitch. <laughs> you live in a bitch. This is not going to happen to your screening. You Gosh, thank you. Yeah, yeah, I have a flyer out there on the table. Um, well, I mean, the, I, I think the number one reason why it's not what you, anymore what you see on that screen is exposure. I mean, you know, children are not exposed to the art form. You need to raise them up. You need to have children listen to this music and understand and appreciate it, which is why that's a huge mission of our company is education. You know, and we do a tremendous amount of educational outreach. And we get kids at our main stage shows. Unfortunately, our last show, which was Hensel and Gretel, is actually not a kid's opera. It's kind of Wagner light. Um, but we had a lot of kids, which was wonderful, but I think a lot of people stayed away because they thought it was a kid's show. It's actually really sophisticated. Um, so I think that's really what it is. You know, music education is not what it was. I think that, you know, the few music educators who are hanging on are you know, like this, you know, before they're cut. And opera is just not emphasized in the curriculum. So that's, you know, I, I think that's a huge part of it, exposure. Well, it's part of our culture growing up. I mean, any yeah. Bugs Bunny movie. Uh, you know, oh, yeah, even, sure. You know, even like just, you know, hello, modern, hello, modern. Yeah. You're right, it's Barbara. Yeah, yeah. It's true. I mean, it's just like it, it was part of our culture growing up, and, and, and I think, um, you know, it's been replaced by other things. You know, the diva that is her is Lady Gaga now. That's true. You know? So it, it's just a different, it's, it is a cultural shift, but I think the way to get the audience there that kind of commitment to the role, to the music, to uh, being in state, because there's nothing better than seeing a person live that is giving you that kind of, you know, uh, emotion, connecting you to really yourself. Because it doesn't matter if it's in another language. Music is universal, you know, and emotion is universal, and it, it's that kind of uh, thing, especially in an intimate. Hard to think well, of, aren't you? Know? That's another. Thing. That's another. I mean, you know, yeah. opera is opera is being done. I mean, we're an example of a company doing opera in an intimate scale. There's a lot of the, some of the most successful companies are really these companies like Heartbeat Opera and the City Fair Opera. There's a whole bunch of you know that are really bringing opera to people and making it. You know, I mean, performing in a space not much bigger than this sometimes. You know, but it's wonderful because you can see all that expression. You know, because again, it's a dramatic form. You know, there's also super titles, um, which are you know projections of the uh, translated projections of in, in, into English. Um, so you don't have to be guessing. And people never really who love the form were never guessing. But you do the synopsis and you compare all that kind of thing. So I mean, so there's really it, it's a, making it accessible. I think is critical, especially in this day and age when you know I said we're not exposed to it in the same way that other generations were. Yeah, and you have to make it as.